Andrea. Brielle. Desi. Lissa. Oh, God. Rachel. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just go for it. Is everyone ready? Yes. Yeah. Oh man, 2 a.m. wake up call again. Being an early mom, there's no saying when the whales will begin and end. Not that I would know on a first hand basis. I'm just an awkward teenager that likes to watch My Little Pony in my free time. However, I've seen the movies, and I've watched my friends babysit, and I know that the exhaustion of an early mom just never ends. So why would parents voluntarily force aching sobs to scar their child's esophagus? Parents these days pierce their children's ears, inflicting unnecessary pain upon their child, while simultaneously giving them no choice and treating them like an object, causing them sometimes to even want more piercings. With that said, we'll discuss those things today. So, what kind of pain keeps you guys up at night? For children with their ears pierced, it's just that. According to John Hopkins Children's Center, when getting your ears pierced, a 12 to 18 gauge needle goes through your ear. Ouch. <laughs> um, and while that's going on, hairstylists hold a gun up to your child's head. Why would a parent want that for their child? <laughs> Many children form keloids, and in a 2005 study, 80% of the people in it formed these unsightly growths. Considering this, many develop many other problems as well, like bleeding, contact allergies, post-traumatic tearing, deformation of the auricle, embedded backings, infection, and purulent discharge, which occurs in 24% of people with their ears pierced. With that said, one of my very best friends actually had some of these problems, and she's actually in the audience today, Brielle. Um, her parents allowed her to get her ears pierced as an infant, and she developed a severe infection. Her parents recalled that her earlobes got in between the sides of a marble and a golf ball. And her mother said, I actually interviewed her, she said, it seemed like she cried for 40 days and 40 nights. And her father said that he could barely even stand to look at her because she was in such a traumatic state. Her mom even um, had to quit her job for a short period of time to take her to a series of appointments. And although Braille doesn't blame her parents for this severe infection, many parents actually do deserve to be blamed. Because parents force their child to wear these rhinestones in their ears, they don't allow their child to have a choice. Many argue, my baby, my choice. But what if your mother forced you to marry the ugliest person on the planet? It's basically the same thing. <laughs> According to Daily Mail, 45% of children who got their ears pierced at, at a young age wish they hadn't. Brielle wishes the same. In fact, she said, that was probably the dumbest decision my parents have ever made, but I don't blame them. They did everything else right. Um, and these parents who do this are living through their children, using their offspring as a fashion accessory, dressing them off, up like a dolly, and they're just showing them off as an extension of themselves. And whether knowingly or not, they are sexualizing and cheapening their child. It was evident in a TV show called Bringing, uh, Blinging Up My Baby and Toddlers in Tiaras. The shows showcase people in like little fashion shows and dressing them up to make them look good. And some viewers of these shows are very disgusted when they've seen it for the first time. Um, on Blinging Up Your Baby, uh, one of the infants got their ears pierced. And viewers took into a Twitter rage. They said, the poor child's distress brought tears to my eyes. And another said, branded it horrendous and purely for the mother's vanity. Uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum, um, some children deser desire more and more piercings after their first one. According to Berkeley parents, one mother who had her daughter's ears pierced as an infant asked for some advice when it came to second piercings. She said, my daughter's 15 years old and she's been begging me for two years to get another piercing. And when, her, when she got her first hole pierced, she had a severe infection, and she had to have them re-pierced. Re and I don't want
want her to ever get a double piercing, and I feel she's just too young to make the decision. What I don't understand is why she didn't think her daughter was too young at six months to make the decision. CNN states that the brain of a young person is still developing, and they are less risk averse, more impulsive, and more likely to engage in risky behaviors. And so how can we really know that they want the piercing? We can't until they're aware of their style and what they want, and let alone they have to be able to talk. Brielle said she, when she was younger, she didn't want earrings. But now that she's gotten older, she's developed a style and often wears earrings. So she had to get her holes re-pierced, and you can actually see where her first piercing was and where the infection hurt her ears. And although Brielle's ears are a little silly, <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> about the horrible situations leading up to it that are silly. The pain-infused blood that sticks to the gun that was held to your child's ear <laughs> Sorry. Moment. It's just an outlet for your for you to play dress up with your child. And it sometimes make your child even want more piercings. And the information I've laid out today should really make you think twice about getting your infant's ears pierced. So when I wake up one Wednesday morning to the wailing screams of my child, I'm going to be so happy to know that I didn't cause it, hopefully. <laughs> And I'm going to be thankful for the lobes laying on that pillow. So remember, your baby is, just as Bruno Mar Mars sings, amazing just the way you, your baby is. Thank you.